Hi, welcome to Car Mechanical. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and repair your Audi armrest lid and or catch. So this is on my Audi A4 B6. It may apply to other models and I'll put those in the description below. So the catch was broken off when I got the car. Now the first thing we need to do is to remove the lid. So this is removing it after it's been repaired. So that's why you can see the catch on there, but to remove it, you need to squeeze those parts at the back in there together and do it gently because too hard you will snap things. So you're just gonna pull one side in towards the other. And then when that comes out of its hinge, you're gonna angle that lid towards one side so you can get that over and the whole thing will pull out. So now we're inside the house, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a screwdriver underneath or in between the plastic and the lever and there's these sort of two pop catches that we need to get under. And I'm just removing the bits of plastic that were broken for now. So you can sort of see there, where my poor camera work is off screen, that you can pop these catches up. So you're gonna get the screwdriver in there, you're gonna pop it up, and then you're gonna use a couple of pegs. So you're gonna get the pegs underneath, and they're gonna wedge it open to allow you to put the new handle in. So you're gonna do one either side. Now be careful when you're doing this, you don't want to snap anything, so just be really gentle and do it in slow increments. Don't force anything with a huge amount of pressure, just do it nice and slowly. Okay, so we can take the screwdrivers out next, we've got our working space, and we're going to get our new catch, and then we can install that. So when you are doing this, be very careful, but you can see there I've sort of placed the catch. I'm showing you this, this is all sort of a midpoint, but you can see those pegs, they need to line up, but they need to go through those two holes. So you're going to start in a moment with the catch and we're going to grab the fresh catch. Now these, I got this for 99p delivered off of eBay. So when you are doing this part, just be careful with the orientation. Uh, these are quite fragile if you do them multiple times so you want to get it right the first time. If you've just got one that you're replacing that's broken, you know what way up that should have been. However, I didn't have one. First time I did this, I got the orientation slightly wrong so I had to redo everything. But we got it right this time. So this is going in now and you can get one into one of the peg holes and then once you've done that you best use a flat bladed screwdriver and slowly sort of pry it back and maneuver it so it goes into that gap and then make sure that both sides are in. So I'm just going to line things up here and now I can see I'm happy with it, I can take the pegs out. So you can even sort of twist these and take these out or just use your screwdriver to give a little bit of leverage. Now be careful not to hit the new catch. So you're going to get one peg out and then we're going to get the other. Now it might be that you just wanted to replace the lid, so this stage may not have been necessary for you. You may have just bought a complete new lid off of eBay, I think they could be 10 to 20 pounds replacing that. But literally for 99p, really happy with that. So that's all ready to go back in the car, we'll cut across to that in a second. And just showing you that it's all good and working. So when it goes back in the car, it's the reverse of taking it out. You need to put one side in first. So find the hole there, put one side in, squeeze the other in, and it will pop in. And if you're a little bit out, as you push it in, it will just kind of all click into place as you move the armrest down. Just don't be overly aggressive because you don't want to snap things. I think that's part of the reason loads of people have to replace these. And now we're done, let's just have a look at it working. So there you go. For £1 or 99p, I managed to fix my armrest. I hope you find this handy. If you do, please hit the like button. Please share this with anyone you think it would be useful to. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. And more than anything, thank you for watching.